What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm finally gonna strap a GoPro on these go-karts and give them a rip snot. I'm gonna take my daughter's out, if you can saunt it. I don't know how dark it's gonna be. Um, I'm gonna take it for a couple laps around the yard. The problem with my daughter's go-kart is when I was putting this thing together, I noticed that when the go-kart was idling, the key would fall out of the keyway that held the rotor in place. Well, I meant to put a uh, hose clamp around that key to hold it in the axle and forgot. And then we went and rode it that first time, uh, which I haven't even put any videos up, and forgot all about it, walked in the garage after riding it for like an hour, and I noticed the brake wasn't working, but I just figured I needed to adjust the cable some so it would, you know, kind of grab harder. And then I noticed that the... Uh, key was laying in the center of my garage floor forgot all about it um, So that means the rotor had the two set screws that's on each side Tightened down so when the brake would grab it was actually spinning that rotor on the axle with those set screws down And I'm sure it chewed up the axle quite a bit and that sucks because this is a brand new axle um, and That caused now the rotors like locked up and the keyway isn't aligned It wouldn't be a problem if the keyway was aligned because I could just slide a key in it and say to hell with it now the brake works, I just never have bought or welded up a spring set up to open the brake back up when you let off of it, a return spring. And I didn't want to add no more colossalness to this brake setup. So I went to my brother's and got a brake off of a four-wheeler. And here's what it looks like. So here's the caliper. The pads was completely wore out. That is just made a lift, but there it is. I gotta have Napa make me a line to go from this um, to this for it and I'm gonna make um, and then I can just hang this reservoir up in the front and then this will hook directly it's a push system so the pedal will directly push this and I need to put a spring to pull the pedal back which I have this heavy spring that should do the job okay so I got that hydraulic brake set off that uh, I think it's a Polaris four-wheeler same thing as a Honda 400 Z now that's going to be super easy to set up just rig up something on the pedal and a return spring on the pedal and then put that caliper on the the rotor and hopefully it'll work with this rotor i already got but that means i'm going to have to take the whole entire axle off and try to beat that rotor into place um so i'm thinking it's fine where it's at and my brother's just going to tack weld around it uh, weld the rotor to the axle because that axle is already going to be chewed up so much and what i'll do is just buy another axle later if it becomes a problem because um, the axle's 60 bucks. I mean, what's 60 bucks? Who cares? And I won't have to mess with it for a while. I can get around this for a long time with that rotor being welded in place, actually. So um, I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to eventually cut this whole brake setup off. And I'm going to use this brake setup on another go kart as an e brake on this little asphalt go kart. And um, yeah, just put a hydraulic brake so she can have a nice brake feel. So. That means as I'm riding it, I'm not going to use the brake hardly at all because if you use the brake, it doesn't open back up. I actually need to, um, I mean, it isn't going to hurt none. It's probably just wearing the pads out in the caliper. So let me grab the GoPro and we're going to slap it on my daughter's go-kart first. And I hope you can tell how fun this thing is. It might not seem fast on video. I don't know, but the thing will fly and I'm going to get a top speed on it today. See what the puppy will do uh, opened up. So I don't know if I'll be able to do a good top speed on it around here. And then we're going to strap the GoPro to the little asphalt go-kart I built and just upload the video too. And we're going to do a top speed run on it. It does 31.5 with me on it. And that's a bone stock Predator with just the governor removed and not even upgraded valve springs. They're on their way. And also we'll have another video coming up about this other go-kart I'm building. So without further ado, let's strap on the camera and get this go-kart out.
Okay, we're gonna actually take the escape down the road real quick because the Ford is uh, an old son of a gun and I don't trust nothing on that truck, like uh, for accuracy anyways. So uh, the escape, like I said, at most should be probably two, probably two mile per hour off, but we're just gonna have to test it. Um, and so I'll minus, uh, I think it's minus two mile an hour, I think. I'll find out at work for sure tomorrow, but uh, we're gonna test this app and see how accurate it is. Okay, as you can see, it's about dead on. So I would say that the phone is about a mile an hour to two off, but you can see it's, it's really close to uh, what it's saying. encounter back in December of 1981 with a Bigfoot while deer hunting. Uh, it was a beautiful uh, December day, perfect weather for a hunt.
So I take my rifle, I've got a high-powered rifle with a high-powered scope on the rifle, and I look through the scope at the creature, and I knew that after looking at it, I was in a situation because it was cold, you know, the moisture was coming out of its mouth, its nostrils. Uh, it looked really, really human. The face was, was, was human. Uh, it, uh, the eyelashes, I could see the eyelashes, you know, the eyes, uh, the teeth, the teeth were big, big teeth, flat teeth like our teeth. Okay, well, I hope you like those videos. Um, I, I don't know where they're pointing yet. I haven't edited them. So I hope both of them... So I know the, the small go-kart, it kept leaning to the side, but we're just going to have to deal with it. Um, because there, I'm going to weld a little tab on the front to put one of the uh, snap-in GoPro mounts. That was my buddy's GoPro 3, and I'm actually going to order one of the Amazon specials. I think it's 38 bucks, and it comes with a lot of uh, mountain accessories, and they say they're really good cameras. For that price, for $38, and it comes with, you know, like 10 different mountain accessories, if it lasted me six months, you got your money's worth, in, in my point of view. But I ordered that camera tonight, so it'll be here in two days, so we'll be able to make a lot more of these videos, and then in a few more days after that, or in a week or so, I'm going to order another one of the cameras, and probably order one a week or one every other week until I got four of the GoPro-style cameras. And... Uh, but yeah, I hope y'all like the video. Um, the big go-kart went, like I said, 32 mile an hour. Uh, definitely needs that front end fix because it was death wobbling like a mother. But we had a lot of fun on this little one. I'm telling you, you never seen a bunch of grown men have so much fun on something small. But uh, I got to bolt down the seat. The seat has no nuts on it whatsoever. So I'm going to put some lock nuts on that seat and uh, get a few things welded on it this weekend. I uh, don't have time during the week because I got a lot of side jobs to do. But uh, Daisy sure loves the, the go-kart, that's for sure. But we got the other go-kart on the workbench. All the parts are coming. We're putting this old used motor that I'm praying has uh, is good. When I got it, I had a few problems with it. It was missing the uh, one of the valve, um, the push rods. So I put new push rods in it, went ahead and ordered new um, rockers for it. And I put 18-pound valve springs and deleted the governor and whatnot and put a brand new carburetor on it. So I'm really hoping that this motor is going to run because I just ordered a clutch and everything to get this little go-kart going. So a video will be coming up on the full build of this go-kart as well. And uh, don't forget to check out my Facebook page. We're doing that camera giveaway. As soon as we get 250 likes, it's slowed down a lot. Um, it's actually slower than getting subscribers, to be honest. But don't forget to check that out and check out the rest of my channel. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, always thanks for watching, guys. It's Redbeard's Garage, and I'm out. Thank you.